Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer live chat. Now, just so you know, on my screen I have a we really weird error message which says there was an error loading my app. So, I can't see myself on the screen, so please let me know in the chat room if you can see and hear me. If so, that's fine, I will just carry on. If not, I'm going to have to reload. So, let me go to the chat screen and check. Okay, guys, can you see me? Please let me know. I can see Van Al Girl here, um, who says, how are you feeling today? Um, I'm feeling a lot better this week. No sniffles and no cold. And here is my tea. Great, so Nina can see me and hear me, so that's fine. So it's just me and my screen. So that's okay. I was worried for a moment you couldn't see me. Um, Nina says hello. Beth says hi. And she loves me. Thank you so much. Um, it's nice to be loved. Uh, and Doris says hello. Uh, Nina can see me. Uh, Beth can see and hear me. Um, Steve is here and says that he can see and hear me. H.A. Bracken, I see you. Great, so you can all see me. And Dawn's here too. Well, what an absolutely amazing voluptuous royal week it has been in fact it's so voluptuous i'm going to add a new word it's voluptuous and palatial it's been a palatial week oh my goodness hasn't it been a palatial week it's been huge so much has been going on i mean i'm really amazed about how much royal work's been going on how much in the media and I've got so much that I want to talk to you about. I had to write extra small on my list today because there was so much. Um, so I'm going to completely leave the book club for this week because we've got so much to be getting on with. And I want to be able to keep up with all of your questions too. Um, okay, Beth says, say hi to Tom and Meg. Hello to Tom and Meg as well. Um, Jamie says, my warmest greetings, Elliot and all. Welcome, Jamie, to the chat. And Beth says they love you. And um, thank you. Who are, I take it they're your children. Um, Annette says you see and hear fine. Uh, really sparkly brooch. Well, I thought this was really appropriate brooch to wear for the Queen's ninety-first birthday, which we'll be talking about in a bit as well. Loretta's made it to the chat, so hello to Loretta. Uh, Dawn Moore says glad you're feeling better. Uh, yes, here as daughter's party doesn't start till eight. Well, I'm glad you've been able to make it this week. Uh, Steve says, congratulations on 7,000 subscribers. Thank you, yes, Royal Reviewer has finally hit 7,000 subs. I'm so happy. Um, in fact, that wasn't on my list to talk about, but seeing as you've mentioned it, wow. And um, millions and millions of views as well. It's just going so well. So thank you very much to everyone who's been watching my videos and liking and subscribing, it really does help. Um, and Doris says, very exciting week indeed. Yes, and we will get through everything, I'm sure, by the end of the chat. Um, and sending a hug to Vanal. And that's from Dawn. Okay, I'm gonna start a bit further back. So last Sunday, it was the Easter Sunday service at St George's Chapel in Windsor. And of course, the Queen attended, and William and Catherine, and um, the royal family basically walked from the castle down to the chapel. Uh, the Queen was driven. I think there was a small concession to her age, but basically, um, she was driven, the rest walked. We got a really good look um, at Beatrice and Eugenie, and there was some confusion, and I'm going to address this point now. There was some confusion as to why uh, Beatrice and Eugenie didn't curtsy, and Catherine. And William, well, William bowed and Catherine curtsied. Well, basically, it was because you only have to do it once per day. So, obviously, um, the fact that Beatrice and Eugenie didn't curtsy told us that they'd already been at the castle and met the Queen. William and Catherine must have just arrived from wherever it is that they came from, whether it be Anna or Kensington or Kensington Palace, whichever home they've come from. Um, it, that was the first time in the day that they'd met the Queen. So they had to bow and curtsy. So a lot of people were saying, you know, Beatrice and Eugenie weren't being courteous, they weren't following protocol, but they were. It's just that they'd met her earlier in the day and William and Catherine hadn't. So I hope we've um, cleared that one up a little bit. I'm just going to read uh, some 
comments. Susan says, sending greetings to the Queen Mother. Um, on the subject of the Queen Mother, there is a new book out about her. Um, another one of her uh, many servants has written a new memoir book about his time with the Queen Mother. So that will be another really interesting read. So look out for that one. Um, Jamie says, I thought the flower brooch would have been more fitting for her birthday. Well, I wore the flower one um, a few weeks back. This is the one I haven't worn for a while. So I decided upon the star. Um, but of course, it's still spring. Um, so perhaps the flower brooch next week. Unless I get a new one by then, I really want the wattle. I really need the Australian wattle. Um, and I wanted to talk as well about the fashion at the Easter service. Catherine was wearing a pillbox hat and a cream coloured um, coat. And it looked so reminiscent of Jackie Kennedy, Jackie Onassis, whatever you know her as. She was really channeling the Jackie look. Um, but I thought it really suited her. Some people in the comment section were saying um, it perhaps was a little bit too old fashioned for her. But I thought that she really rocked that look. And I don't think you could model yourself on someone more fashionable than Jackie O. Um, I loved it. Just let me know what you think um, in, in the comments in this video or on the comments in that video or even in the chat room now. Just let me know. OK, the next thing I wanted to talk about was Prince Harry's podcast with Bryony Gordon. Um, now, the podcast, I decided not to publish on my channel because it was Bryony's project and it was Bryony's work. Um, some other royal channels I know have basically um, put that video that the podcast up on their channels. And I thought um, that that wasn't the right thing to do. Um, Bryony had obviously put a lot of work and it was a new venture um, about mental health. So I didn't think it was very good. Um, to post that podcast on my channel. So I did a little story about it. So I included some of the pictures um, about it and I put the link in. So if you haven't seen the podcast already, go to my video on the podcast chat and there's a link in the description taking you um, to Bryony Gordon's page, which will have the link to the podcast. And I think that's the right way of doing it. But if you look in the photographs on the video that I made, it was taken at Nottingham Cottage at Kenston Palace, which was actually Harry's home. Well, it is Harry's home. So if you want to see little glimpses of Harry's home, Nottingham Cottage inside, take a look at that video because some of the still pictures, they really give you a little bit of a glimpse into the decor at Nottingham Cottage. So have a little look. Um, that was something that I didn't mention in the video itself, um, but I'll mention it to you guys. So please go and have a look. Um, and please let me know what you thought about the podcast. Basically, Harry opened up um, about his years of repression, of repressing his memories um, about, about the loss of his mother, Diana, um, because he thought that they would hurt too much, that it wouldn't bring her back. But Harry's realised that talking about his mental health and about the loss of his mother is actually helping him and that he's only really been grieving for the past couple of years. So it was a really interesting chat um, and I think it really opened things up and got the Heads Together campaign really going because it's one thing for the Royal Trio, William, Catherine, Harry, to talk about mental health and tell people to open up. But it wasn't until they actually opened up themselves, until, as, they, as we say in this country, they put their money where their mouth is, um, that the, the campaign has really got some traction this week. So I thought that was a really good podcast. Please go and support Bryony um, because she she had an excellent interview. Um, so please support her. Go and watch it. It was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Okay, before I move on, I'm going to take some um, read some of the comments in in this chat. Uh, N. Joris, oh, Tony Jones says hi. N. Joris says, oh, I get, I get it. The way the royals don't have people bumming up and down every moment they see them. Yes. <laughs> because they, they would be like, it would be like whack attack, basically, if they curtsied and bowed every single time they met. So it is just once per day. Uh, Van Al says, I love Catherine's pillbox hat. She wears them far back on her head 
which reveals a more youthful look. I love the look and I hope she revives a little bit of a trend. Jamie says he's got his Coke and popcorn. Uh, Tim says, yeah, I made it. Welcome to Tim. H.A. Bracken says, I thought it was very brave of Harry to admit it. Yes. Um, it's taken, I think, a long time for Harry to get to that point. But once he has, um, we can't shut him up. I mean, he's just talking about it all the time, which is good. And it's really healthy. It's healthy for him. And it's really good for the campaign to give it traction, to really get people talking. And as they say, to really change the conversation. Um, so and of course we realize as well which i'll get to later this week that each one of them has had their own reasons for doing the heads together uh william's reason is obvious but catherine's was a little bit of, of a surprise which we'll get to in, in a little bit uh jamie says seven thousand uh subscribers yay the channel is growing fast since 5k the last thousand has gone really quick um from uh five to six really dragged a bit but six to seven really flew and also the facebook group has grown in numbers as well and i might even talk about that in a bit too uh tim says 46 more days until his trip to london wow um and actually can't be too too many until um mine in august either van al says i want some popcorn too instead you're snacking on some wisps with my tea what are wisps um, Annette says, I am so proud of them all. They are an inspiration to the nation. Nina says she's very proud of Harry. And Steve says, I got a letter back from Prince Harry this week. And it was really a nice letter. But we can't go into details as the contents concerned a family member with mental health issues. And um, I'm really pleased that people are writing to the royals. They have said themselves that the only way, apart from going out on engagements, um, to really know what people think, is if people write them letters. So I'm really pleased that you're writing letters and of course you're getting responses back too. So well done Steve um, for writing a letter and for, for getting a reply, which obviously meant something to you. Um, a very personal message I can imagine. Um, while we're on the subject of writing to the Queen, I did have it on my list as well. Um, her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, otherwise known as Jamie, pranked us all last week. Um, and he pranked us because he said he'd got an invitation to the Buckingham Palace garden party because he wrote to the Queen. And he did get a reply back from the Queen, but it wasn't an invitation. So Jamie fooled us all. Well done, Jamie. Um, just thought I'd clear that up. Because, of course, I like my videos to be factual. Um, Susan says, send greetings to Queen Elizabeth, and one love. Um, so sending all of our love to Queen Elizabeth. Nina says, the video of Prince William and Lady Gaga, the picture on his desk, uh, was that Harry with glasses? Well, I was looking at that myself, and I didn't really pause it and have a lingering look, but it could have been. Um, please let me know what you think. Maybe we should... <laughs> all go to that video and have a look and talk about it last time but i really loved um you got to have another chance to look in that video of the inside of kensington palace and of course william's desk with all the photos and a little bit of the background of the room all very interesting and of course um it was a very surprise chat with lady gaga too um we, we didn't see that one coming so that was another big heads together media um media engagement that the royal trio has undertaken this week to really get the campaign um some motion and contraction and then there was more as well um which we'll get to that um a little bit later too but i really enjoyed the lady gaga chat um it was very insightful as well and lady gaga spoke about her issues and william spoke about his so i just really enjoyed all these conversations and it's not just high profile people doing these conversations if you go to the heads together um twitter they will have all the video links to all different people talking about their mental health issues and the subjects are very wide ranging people have different mental health issues for all kinds of different reasons uh, 
Jamie says, Tim, stop saying uh, your visit is coming close because that's when my state exams are and you're worrying me. And <clears throat> good luck with your exams, Jamie, and happy revising. Vanel says, wisps are little parmesan cheese crisps. I like, well, actually, I like cheddars. I suppose they're kind of the same, only probably thicker. Um, but I like the big cheddars. <laughs> Uh, Tim says, the silly USA tabloids say today that Prince Harry and Meghan have split up and Harry is moving to Germany. Uh, you just laughed when you saw it. Absolute tripe rubbish. And I'm going to be getting on to lies in the media. In fact, I'm going to have a really big moan about lies soon. In fact, I'm going to get a few, few questions and then I'm going to talk about the lies. Uh, Tim says, I wonder if the Queen's 95th birthday will be a huge celebration. I imagine there'll be more of a fuss when she reaches 95 than 91, definitely. And that says, I love to read the rags at the checkout, always a laugh. Well, it's not just the, uh, the magazines that are spouting out a load of rot, which I will get to in a second. Um, Elaine says, your battery's low. Uh, you look very smart and I appreciate the effort. Thank you very much. And of course, I have my Dicky Bow uh, this week too. Tim says, I have to brag about my upcoming visit. I have waited one year and saved money for it. You're entitled to brag about it. Please do. Um, Fleur, Fleur Liz says, kisses from Brazil. Mwah! From me to Brazil. Jamie says, celebrations are celebrated in 10 and 100 years. I do think. Um, that she will have more of a celebration at 95 then. Uh, Jamie says, I'm going for my birthday in September. Um, and Fleur says, I love uh, Catherine and William. We all do. They've had such an amazing week. Now, I said I was going to talk about um, about a moan. And I think Van Al just put a comment which I'm going to read, which ties in really nicely with my moan. And that is, she says, there are so many videos about Charles and Camilla divorcing and that she is demanding a huge settlement. That was my point. Um, I've been getting loads and loads and loads of comments from people in the video I made about Camilla becoming queen. And I have to say, some of the comments about her are vile, absolutely diabolical. And I noticed that there was. A thread or a theme going on. People are saying that she's drunk, that her mother died of syphilis, that she's got syphilis, that she's a whore. Absolutely vile comments. And I wondered, these people were saying it with such conviction as if they really truly believed it. And when I was going through YouTube, I noticed um, a particular channel. Now I'm going to name and shame this channel because um, having a channel myself, I know what the responsibility it is and how much I take it very seriously that I only put stuff out there that's true and accurate and correct. I take that very, very seriously. I feel like I have a responsibility because people watch what I say or the videos that I make and people believe it. Um, and of course, I endeavor to be true and correct. But there is a YouTube channel called The Top Half. I will say it again, The Top Half, which has only been making videos for the past two months. But already it has nearly one and a half million views. And all it posts is a load of vile rot about Camilla and the royal family, but in particular Camilla. And these videos aren't just getting a few views. They're getting thousands and thousands and thousands of views. And the things that these videos were saying are exactly the same as what the posters, the commentators are saying in my videos. So I believe that all of this rot, all of these trolls are getting their information from, and I will say it again, the top half. Please go and check out the channel. See for yourself what I'm saying. It is absolutely abhorrent. Um, and there's not a lot we can do about it. Even if we report the videos, um, I'm sure YouTube will just come along and say it's freedom of speech. 
um, and that it's entertainment. Well, it's not entertainment because I think they have responsibility because some people um, really believe exactly what they see. And if people are being irresponsible, people are going to get these weird skewed views about reality. And in truth, Camilla hasn't got syphilis. Her mother didn't die of syphilis. She's not a whore. And there's all these different things. They're just complete lies, fabrication. So beware. And I wanted all you guys to know the truth and to know that when these people are comment commenting on the videos, that's where their information is coming from. And I just think it's so unscrupulous that the person behind that uh, YouTube channel what they're doing is just absolutely terrible and I really do despair. Um, so please, if you've seen that channel, let me know. Um, let me let me know what you think. Um, if you're going to go and watch those videos after this chat, please come back and leave a comment about what you thought because I just think it's absolutely terrible. Um, and while, And that goes for Camilla bashing in general. And I know um, another person, Gail, who runs British Sovereigns and Royals group on Facebook, she made a video a few weeks back about Camilla bashing too. Um, and I just think Camilla bashing needs to stop. Um, whether you, um, you like Camilla or not, whether you're a Diana fan or a Camilla fan, or you like both of them, you still shouldn't be horrible to people. Um, and you know, I like to be very impartial on my channel. Um, so yes, please um, spread the word, stop the Camilla bashing, it's just terrible. And if you are going to make a negative comment about Camilla, please let it be based on something that's true and accurate and factual, not a complete pack of fabricated lies. Um, so that's my rant over, it just really annoyed me this week. But I'm also going to rant as well about uh, not about the video of the Radio 1 visit that William and Catherine made, but what happened after. And I'm not sure a lot of you probably wouldn't have noticed. But, um, again, just like the Bryony Gordon video, um, anything that Kensington Palace puts out, because it's in the public domain, I can use that on my YouTube channel. And because it's a charity, because, there's, because it's a video supporting a charity, of course, they want that message to spread as far and as wide as possible. So by sharing that video, by reposting it, you're actually getting more attention for the charity and for the cause. Now, it must have been, and I've got a, no a note of it, I will read it here, um, Time Inc. They're a company, Time Inc. They must have recorded the video. Um, oh, actually, no, this, this wasn't the uh, Radio 1 visit. This was the um, the Royal Trio conversation that they had at, Kens at Kensington Palace. Now, Time Inc. must have recorded it. Now, I posted it, lots of other channels posted it, Heads Together posted it, Kensington Palace posted it um, on, on all their YouTube channels, on the Royal Channel. It was taken down. There was a global block. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that Time was being so unscrupulous and money grabbing over something that was supposed to be for a good cause, over something that was supposed to be spread. And they took down the whole video. They even took it down from the charity that it was made for. And I just thought that was absolutely terrible. I think the videos are back up now. I'm not sure if you go to mine if the video will still will still say blocked. Um, but I just thought that was very un unscrupulous and shame on time. It was just absolutely terrible. Now, I'm going to go back up and just read some of your comments about what I've been talking about now. Um, uh, a few people saying that they're trolls. Nina's saying she hates the top half. Uh, Dawn just tweeted me um, her mug from tonight's chat. Yes, um, I'm also on Twitter, Royal, Royal Reviewer on Twitter. So you can tweet me live in this chat if you want to. And once I finish my rant, I will go and have a look at that tweet so I, I would love to see your cup um tim says yes he's sick of those videos bashing camilla i really do feel for her sometimes steve refuses to watch them um 
and Jamie says there's another one called Top News, probably by the same person. I don't know. Um, and Doris says I love Camilla. I hate when they say awful things about her. I refuse also to watch videos that say trash about the royals. But unfortunately, they get so much views. Um, I mean, just just imagine if I made up stories, you know, just for views. I mean, it's just it's abhorrent. It really is. Uh, Bruce says yes. I saw the top half. I don't think it takes too much brains to know. Um, that it's got an agenda. Yes, an agenda is negative to the monarchy and indeed Camilla. Um, and Doris says, hashtag stop the Camilla bashing. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe I should launch a campaign, stop Camilla bashing. Um, judge her on what she's done, not on fake news. Uh, Dawn says, that is why I wish the royal family can find you and tune in to see that there are some wonderful people like you trying to get the truth out there. Yes, I always try and just say the truth. I mean, that's what people hopefully want to see and hear. Um, Jamie says, one video by, is it Vitiman? It's called Charles and Camilla getting a divorce. Yes, and it has 58,000 views. That's basically the same as what Top Half are doing. Um, Jamie agreeing with Dawn. Lots of people agreeing with Dawn. Um, Fleur says, will Elizabeth the Queen ever retire? I don't think so. Some European uh, monarchs have abdicated in recent years. I don't think the Queen will. I think she took her birthday um, oath very seriously, um, where she said that whether her life be long or short, um, that she would stay dedicated, basically, to, to her role. And she takes her coronation oath very seriously. And I think she will die a queen. Jamie says, uh, once I finish my rant, you might as well then fill another cup. Yes. Um, but I think that's basically my rant over. Uh, Elaine says, it wouldn't surprise me if some of the royal family do watch. I hope they do. <laughs> then hopefully I can get an interview with them. I would love that. Um, well, we do know that Prince William uh, listens to Radio 1 and actually calls in under um, an assumed name and gets shout outs, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, Jamie says, Camilla Love. Yes, hashtag Camilla Love. Nina says, the top half just put out a video saying uh, Meghan is wearing a new ring and that her and Harry are engaged. Uh, well, they just make stuff up and it's just so irresponsible because some people really do believe it um susan says mr jim Doherty, why are you talking paradox for of a person's life and prince harry decided to come to germany what's your problem <laughs> um i don't think prince harry has gone to germany uh, jamie says yes the queen is here please save your curtsies people um oh maybe i should make a video on how to curtsy i can do a good curtsy uh nicole says what about the megan bashing yes again there is megan bashing and actually not from people in the uk it's from people overseas um from america from canada dare i say it um loads of people overseas really have it in for megan i actually think that her past doesn't matter to the british people um we certainly as a, as a nation aren't engaged um, and the Megan bashing that seems to be going on elsewhere in the world. Loretta says Camilla did it to herself. She was planning destruction before Diana married Charles. Camilla has no respect for marriage but wants all the benefits the royals have to offer. Well, Loretta, that is your opinion um, based on things that have happened. Um, I'm not saying that she was planning destruction um, or that she hasn't got respect for marriage. But at least they aren't out and out right, um, lies, disgusting lies. Um, people are entitled to their opinion. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying everyone should love Camilla. Um, you know, people do have long memories about things that have gone on. But we've already spoke about the, the whys and what falls about the marriage breakdown of Charles and Diana and Camilla's involvement in that. Um, and everyone's entitled to form their own opinions. But my point is to to project vile rumours and lies into the world is just not on. So whatever your opinion, 
Um, I just don't think that lies should be put out there. Van Al says, I bet my life on the fact that, her, her, that on the fact that the Queen will never retire. I think so too. Dawn says, uh, what if you did make up stories like Jamie? Um, well, that's why I had to correct because I said that he was going to be my reporter um, for when he goes to the palace. So I had to so kind of say um, that it was a joke. Uh, oh, H oh, oh, Ohio says, forgot about the chat. I'm way behind now. Don't worry, I'm probably behind myself. Um, Annette says, everyone has skeletons in their closet and behaviours we all wish we never did. Nobody is perfect and cannot be expected to be. It is not uh, right to be persecuted forever for our mishaps by others. Um, I mean, we, we've been through this before about the, about the marriage breakdown. Diana and Charles were actually very, very similar. Um, they were both quite needy people um, and they both couldn't give each other um, the attention that they needed. Um, Diana needed constant attention and support uh, because of her own mental health issues, because of her mother leaving when she was young. Charles had his own um, needs that needed fulfilling. Um, and I think a lot of it was because of the fact that he had a fairly distant mother figure growing up, although he had the Queen Mother. Um, of course, being queen isn't always compatible to being a mother. Um, so he was needy too. They were both needy together. They both couldn't fulfil each other's needs. Camilla could fulfil Charles's needs, very much in the same way I think the Queen Mother did for George VI, very stoical, um, definitely a rock. Camilla doesn't, I don't think, need the limelight. Um, she's quite happy to stay in the background and support her man. Um, but very much a rock figure. They both needed support um, and love, constant adoration of their partner, and that's why the marriage failed. Um, that was the fundamental reason for it breaking down. If that um, hadn't been the case, then I don't think there would have been a space for Camilla to even be there. So we can go through the ins and outs about the marriage breakdown, but just I think we shouldn't be bashing and Camilla bashing now. Um, right, I'm going to go back up and read some of the comments. Um, Elaine says, Jamie makes me smile in the comments section. Nina says, I can't stand Megan uh, bashing. She is lovely. Jamie says, makeup like the paint you put on your face, Dawn. I'm not making a makeup tutorial videos anytime soon, although I will keep my options open. That's all from Jamie. I'm not making makeup tutorial videos. Good heavens, no. Um, Elaine says, I heard Megan was a lovely person at school, very kind and caring, and apparently stood up to bullies. Yes, um, and stands up for women's rights as well. And I think if they do get married, I think that will be one of her causes, will be women's rights and work in Africa. Um, and I think she'll do a fantastic job. Uh, Jamie says, you can still report in September. Yes, you can be a roving London reporter. Elaine says, I've actually noticed, because I'm interested in makeup, um, that the Queen has been perfectly good of late. I think she's worn a lot more rouge um, on her cheeks, but I do think, I still think she's lost a little bit of weight. Um, Jamie says, well, Elaine, I'm trying to understand that comment. Bruce says, when do people talk about Backstairs Billy? Is there another time schedule for the book? Well, I'm thinking because our live chats are so full um, of royal talk, which is good, um, and some people don't join the book club, they might get a little bit bored of book club, book club talk. So I'm thinking about making separate um, additional live videos for the book club, um, perhaps not weekly, but certainly, you know, once a month, maybe twice a month where we can do the book club. Um, and then only people who are taking part in the book club can join and we're not sort of um, you know, leaving other people out, so to speak. So let me know what you think about that. Um, Annette says, absolutely, Charles and Diana were mismatched, very needy. Each one needed a strong partner and it wasn't each other. Exactly. And 
it wasn't wrong for Diana to be needy. It wasn't wrong for Charles to be needy. It just wasn't right together. Nina says, Charles has been showing um, in the videos lately how happy he is. Yes, and he's doing a lot. He's being a lot more touchy-feely and uh, hugging people and hugging children. Um, he seems in a very good place. Caroline says, uh, hello, Elliot. A little late, but you made it. Hello and welcome to Caroline. Fleur says, I think Meghan looks a lot like Pippa Middleton. Yes, I can see that. Um, and you think Harry likes the, uh, this physical type of woman. Well, it wasn't his typical type, really. I mean, previously, he's gone for very bohemian blondes. Um, so Meghan was a little bit out of character for him, I think. But I think um, she certainly is stunning. Um, I mean, she's certainly a very beautiful lady. Um, but I don't think she was typically his type. But I think, um, I think her personality, her interests really matter to Harry and are really important to Harry. I think he's grown up. I think he's done a lot of growing up. He's had the good time girls. And I think Meghan, um, he's looking at in terms of being a life partner, which makes all the difference. Uh, Steve says, I agree, Annette, let the past rest. And Doris says, Camilla is Prince Charles's love, love of his life. Um, Diana was just a situation that happened because of the time they lived. Um, yes. Um, and, I, you know, had things been different and Diana lived, I'm sure she would be happy now the same as Charles is. And I think everyone's entitled to be happy. Uh, Fleur says there were rumours that Harry was interested in Pippa. I think they were, they were just indeed rumours. I don't think they were ever true. Vanel says, uh, I've had back to this belief for about three weeks, but set it aside. I just haven't been able to get back to it, unfortunately. Well, we can carry on reading it. If you've already started it, don't worry. Um, but I think we should perhaps have some separate videos for the book club. Um, is that Happy Movie? Happy Movie says, I'm confused. Don't uh, women already have full rights in the UK? Yes, they do. They do indeed. Uh, Jamie says, I haven't read in a week. Not in my usual schedule because of the holidays, of course, the school holidays, of which I am on too. Um, and Doris says, I love Megan. I still think she's perfect for Harry and also she is gorgeous. I agree. Uh, Fuzzy Puppet says, do you think the Queen gives permission to family members before they speak about their private lives? No. Um, if that had been the case, we wouldn't have had Charles's interview back in the 90s or Diana's or any of that lot. Um, so, no, I don't think she does give permission. Um, sometimes they might seek advice, but they certainly don't have to take it. Ohio says, final girl regarding Charles and Camilla, just idle talk in my view. When there is nothing to talk about, so it's just recycled chit chat. Um, yeah, I, that's probably quite true. Bruce says, I think that a um, focused and separate video on books would be a good idea. I like the direction of your thoughts on uh, talking about the books. Thank you. And um, I'll definitely be looking into that for the future. Ohio says, uh, same to William and Catherine or Harry and Meghan. Wren says, Elliot, you're a lovely person and really set a nice tone in your videos that shows you try to be fair and honest. I do indeed. Um, refreshing and admirable. Thank you very much. And of course, um, when I get such lovely comments, it does help to um, keep me doing that and not turning into the top half, which I would never do anyway. Um, Elaine says, Fleur Liz, I agree. I think Megan looks a little bit like uh, Catherine. And I think Harry will be just as lucky as William. I think he deserves it. Uh, I'm just trying to go through a few questions. Bruce says, I also like this format because it covers a lot of things and things that are happening now. And that's another reason why I do the live chats is so that we can keep up to date and come together and talk about everything that's gone on um, for the previous week. Amina says, do you think the Queen would approve of Meghan getting married to Harry? Yes, I do. Um, and I don't think the fact she's half African-American and a divorcee matters. Charles got married to Camilla. Um, Camilla is a divorcee. Of course, 
Um, it doesn't matter that Charles got divorced because, because Diana predeceased him. Um, but basically, the Church of England um, gave their blessing to Charles to marry Camilla. And that is why their marriage is legal in the eyes of the church. Jamie says, nice sentimental touch, Elliot, with the picture. Just wondering, um, do you not like showing pictures of your childhood? They always seem to be out of sight. And um, if you mean the picture over there, it's not me. Um, it's my grandmother um, who is deceased. Uh, she died about five years ago now. Um, and it's my grandmother and my dad my, and my dad, my father, um, as a baby. Um, and I brought it out seeing as um, my grandmother would have was the same age as the Queen. So my grandmother, had she lived, would have been 91 as well this year. Not the same month, but um, this year they would have both been 91. Uh, Lauren West said, Amina, I'd like to know what the conversation is behind the scenes. Dawn says, not sure about the facts, but uh, some videos of Meghan uh, can't go to Pippa's wedding with Harry. Um, basically, I haven't reported on the Meghan invitation to Pippa's wedding because nothing's been confirmed. Um, and I can't guarantee one way or the other if she's going to go or not. So I'm leaving that story until the actual event. And if she turns up on Harry's arm as his plus one, then great. Of course, I'll report it. If not, um, then it shows that all the other um, people talking about it in the media has just been speculation. So I do think it's just speculation. Nothing can be confirmed yet. Um, so basically, um, I'm not going to report on that until it happens. But believe me, I will if it does. Jamie says, Elliot, what type of computer do you, do you use? Um, well, I'm going to put that on my Patreon. I have actually taken some pictures today, um, and I'll be sharing that with patrons on Patreon. And I'll be talking about Patreon in a little while. Um, Dawn says, um, Yes, pilot should be Pippa. I did. I, I worked that one out. Um, and yes, I hate autocorrect too. And that says, I do not think being half African American is an issue at all. She is full of merit, and they suit each other. In this country, in the UK, um, it really, 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 really doesn't matter um, that she's half anything. I mean, she could be, she could be half elephant, and it really wouldn't matter. Um, although. You know, we Brits are very traditional. Um, we aren't narrow minded. We aren't a narrow minded people. Um, and the fact that she's half African American really, it, it hasn't raised any amount of scandal in the press in the UK whatsoever. Um, I think it was just, you know, a little bit of surprise um, that she has some African American in her because on the face of it, I don't think she looks um, typically like she's got any African-American in her. Personally, I don't particularly see it when I look at her. Um, so I think some people may have been surprised, but I think that's about as far as it went. It never went any further than that. And I certainly don't think it's a problem. Not in this country anyway. Kimberly says, came in late. Uh, what is the name of the brooch you're wearing? This is the Queen's star brooch. It's named, known has the star brooch. Um, and Doris says, that was a composed picture made by a photographer with lookalikes of the royals. Yes, I think I've, I've seen that picture too. Susan says, what I think Prince Harry will marry um, from Africa. Music, one people, different. Oh, right, so what you're saying, I will try and rephrase that, is that you think he's lucky. Um, because he's marrying someone who's um, not typical to be married into the royal family, um, but certainly not unwelcome. Jamie says, my grandmother is 91 too, and she'll be 92 in August. Um, Norks, is that Norsk Pebbles? I'm going to call you Pebbles. 
uh, says, does Harry and Meghan need the same approval? Yes, because of his position um, in line to the throne, he will need to seek the Queen's approval um, as, a, as a mere formality before marriage. Nina says, I was wondering about that too. Uzi Puppet says, I think Meghan will win over almost all of her critics once she becomes a member of the family. She's very hard working and she's intelligent. Um, she has a degree. She does lots of work for charity off her own back way before she even met Harry. So no one can even say that she's doing charity work to impress Harry. She was doing it way before they even met. Um, and I think, you know, the background that she's came from is actually quite endearing to the British public. Um, we do like, we do as a nation tend to like someone who's had some hardship, who's struggled, who's pulled herself up by her bootstraps um, to improve her life. She's certainly a fighter. And I think those are all endearing qualities that she has. And that's why people in this country don't have a problem with her background because it's actually quite endearing. It actually works in her favor that she has struggled in life. Um, and I hope that makes sense. Maybe um, our my British way of thinking doesn't quite translate um, to your country's way of thinking. But certainly in this country, it's very endearing qualities. Uh, Ohio says letter, it was not just Camilla, it's more complicated than that for all the reasons that have been discussed. Jamie says that channel doesn't do Camilla, uh, they just upload all sorts of bleep. Yes, it is just a load of bleep. Um, Amina says if Harry gets married, will he be made Duke? It is traditional for a uh, prince of royal birth to be given a dukedom upon marriage. So I think so. Um, and it's been muted, although not confirmed, that the dukedom of Sussex has been reserved for Harry, which would make Meghan the Duchess of Sussex. If he's not given a title, such as Duke, then Meghan will be known as Her Royal Highness, the Princess Henry. Very much the same way as the Royal Highness, the Princess Michael of Kent. Oh yes, N. Doris says that the photographer's name is Alison Jackson. Um, she's a fantastic photographer. She spoofs the royals, but they're actually really humorous. And I really like the work of Alison Jackson. Um, Dawn says, I really hope she can go to Pippa's wedding. I hope we get to see her too. It will be the first formal occasion that hasn't been um, packed by paparazzi because obviously obviously the photos will be taken by the press but leaving and arriving in the church they will be clear photos they won't be taken with a long lens so it will be the first sort of official kind of photos of them together as a couple so it will be a really amazing um occurrence if it happens jamie says half elephant i can't see that being not a matter might be a bit of a problem and she'd have to um Satisfy them. Yes, if Megan was half elephant, I'm sure it would, but I'm sure you get my point. Um, it doesn't matter what she is, um, what race, what religion. Um, it's, it's not a barrier to her marrying Harry, if that's what they want. Jason Lewis Young says, um, hi, you just made it. You broke up for work for a whole month. Wow. As you're now on paternity leave. Well, congratulations. Um, Wow, how exciting. Um, so please share with us all the details as they happen. Uh, Fleur says, did you read the game, the game of Crown book? No, I haven't. I didn't even know that was out. No, I haven't read that one, uh, but I will look for it. Jamie says, different people. Um, I need to stop answering your questions. Bruce says, Parliament just refused a grant to the Queen to heat up the palaces. How does all that work when you can't enter that? In this? Uh, right. Basically, I haven't heard that the Parliament's refused a grant, so I'll have to look into that um, to see if it's true or, or not. Uh, but basically, um, the Sovereign's grant is supposed to cover um, running the palaces. So the money that she receives um, from the profits on the Crown Estate is supposed to go towards maintaining the palaces. However, there is a huge backlog of work 
that hasn't been done on the palace because funding was tight in previous years. So things were put off and put off and put off. And basically the money wasn't spent on the palace that it needed uh, because the queen wasn't given the money that was needed. Uh, so basically she just made do with what she got. And maintenance was put on the back burner. So all of the boilers and the heating and the wiring and plumbing is all you know 70 80 years old it's inefficient it all needs replacing um they have secured 350 million pounds over 10 years to refurbish the palace um that did cause a little bit of a media storm but it, it's all gone through it is happening um so perhaps that's the grant that you meant i don't know uh, but that has actually been accepted uh, the work is going ahead and all those boilers and um, the rewiring and replumbing will get done over 10 years. So it's a long term project, long overdue, and it will get done. So I hope that answers your question, I think. Ohio says, I really like Harry and Meghan together. He seems very happy and at peace, uh, which is basically what he said in the Bryony Gordon uh, podcast as well. Uh, Dana says, I think the reason Victoria Beckham uh, is because of her hard work these past years. Um, yes, of course, Victoria Beckham, I made a video about it. Um, she got an OBE, the same as her husband David. Uh, William gave her the OBE, presented her with the award. Um, and I think it was for services to the fashion industry. And of course, she has worked very hard in that sector. Jamie says, when Charles becomes king, will William inherit the Duchy of Cornwall? Yes, as the heir to the throne, um, he will inherit the, the Duchy of Cornwall. And William's already attended training. I think he attended something like an eight week land management course um, about how to run an estate such as the Duchy of Cornwall. Because of course, at the moment, he doesn't have um, a landed estate. Uh, North Pebble says, why was the discussion between Harry and William and Kate's mental health blocked? I've already ranted about that. Don't get me started again. But basically, Time has claimed, Time Incorporated has claimed copyright over the recording of it. And consequently, they've put a copyright claim in to YouTube. YouTube have scanned all the videos, found any matches that have been found have been blocked so it's called a global block nobody's got into trouble um for posting it so i haven't got into trouble um i haven't broken copyright but they have claimed copyright on it um, and basically blocked it so the only people that can distribute it is themselves they even blocked it for the charity that it was made for which i just think was very very wrong um, and hopefully they'll come to their senses and sort it out because, you know, it's not the time to be doing that when it's about charity. You know, the whole idea is that you want people to spread the message and spread the word and share the videos and um, get the message out there. And to block it goes against the very purpose it was commissioned and made for in the first place. So I just think they were being very mean, um, very mean spirited and it's not in the nature of charity work i don't think they get it and uh, they're a big corporation they're behaving like a big corporation and um i hope this has brought them a lot of shame and that's all i'm going to say about it from now on don't get me started on that again um amina says is it true that harry has that if harry has children his children won't be known as princes or princesses well we have to look at prince andrew for example so prince andrew is the second child of the monarch his children beatrice and eugenie are indeed princesses now i think if harry was to have children now um, i would have to check but i think they wouldn't be allowed to be princes and princesses um, because at the moment Charles isn't king, so they would be styled as um, the sons or daughters of a duke. Once Charles becomes king, that puts Harry in the same position as Prince Andrew is now, the second son of a monarch. 
therefore his children at that point would be elevated to the title of prince or princess. Um, indeed, uh, Prince Andrew, not Andrew, Prince Edward, um, his children, Sophie and James, they're also entitled to be prince and princess. However, they haven't taken that title up. I hope that helps. Okay, and Doris says, I've read three books by Penny Juna. Um, and the Queen and Die by Ingrid Seward. Are they really good? I haven't read them, but Ingrid Seward is um, a reputable author. So I would imagine that um, if she's written it, things are going to be fairly factual. Uh, Jamie says, how would you respond if the Queen said she always dislikes my videos? Oh no, well, I'd, I'd have to ask her why um, and what I could do to improve them. Um, Dana says, the money issue with the royals this week was a heated topic used to put down the Heads Together campaign. Um, I hadn't heard that particular um, heated topic, but I did read some comments about money um, on my Heads Together video that I made. So now I know where they've come from. Um, and of course, funding is always going to be an issue around the royal family. But if you talk about it openly and honestly about where the money comes from, how it's spent, why it's spent, the fact that it would have to be spent anyway, maintaining the palaces, even if there wasn't a monarchy, the fact that the monarchy raised so much money for charity, um, the Prince's Trust alone raised £70 million in the previous year for charity. Um, they are well worth the money, the value, um, the that they provide. Um, so there's plenty of arguments uh, for the favour of the monarchy, even if people say about the money. Jason says, did you ever find out if Harry actually purchased that property? I did find out, and no, he didn't. Um, he has not purchased Water Hall. So something must have happened. Either he was outbid, or he just didn't fancy the property in the first place. So. Um, Harry is not moving into Water Hall. In fact, I'm thinking that at the time that the sale of the property went through, and this is speculation, I will say that this is speculation, this is just me surmising, but at the time the sale went through, there's also, um, well not that the sale went through, but the time it was taken off the market was around the same time that Margaret Rhodes, the Queen's cousin, passed away. Now she lived, um, in the garden house um, at Windsor, uh, Windsor Castle. Now, upon her death, that reverts back to the, to the Queen. Um, so the Queen could give that to whoever she wanted. I'm wondering whether that house, that property, has been earmarked for Harry, which would explain why um, he probably pulled out of that one, because if he's being given permission to live in, in the garden house, perhaps he's got that one. I'd have to find out whether or not someone else is in there now, but that's my theory anyway. Okay, Ohio agrees, uh, agrees about the book videos. Fuzzy Puppet would like to see Megan's uh, history, see if she's English, she see if she has English roots. She probably does. Um, probably does. Uh, Nina says, people get really ugly in the comments of the Victoria video. Someone got nasty with me for saying she looked good. Um, basically, I believe in freedom of speech. I won't remove somebody um, for having a negative comment, but I don't like it when they get personal. So if someone is having a personal attack on you, um, please message me about it. I don't always get to see every single comment, um, and I will see if I can talk to them or remove the comment. Uh, Jamie says, please, I beg no one mention cruises. <gasps> you just mentioned cruises. Uh, Fleur says, I read the biography of Diana and Princess, um, and it's not available in Portuguese. Dana says, uh, Fleur, it's a good one on the Royal View Reviewer Book Club after the marathon week is done. Let's lobby. Um, I will be making some videos, perhaps once a month, to start with for the um, book club videos. Um, just like this, we can um, 
we can give a time and we can start a new a new chat perhaps even it could be after the main chat we could carry on with the book club chat i'll have to think about it jamie says if william has a second son he will become duke of york on his wedding um yes because the title won't um because the duke of york has only had princesses uh, the title will be reverted back um to the crown upon his death but that will have to wait until his death uh, steve says jamie and the queen would never dislike my videos well the queen is also a huge 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 fan of um hyacinth for keeping up appearances um hyacinth bouquet um so i think we kind of share the same kind of humor um midnight hazel says i very much enjoy your narrations on youtube i know the content you present is gossip thank you for always presenting the real story thank you for watching and thank you for noticing um, that i always try to put the truth and not gossip dana says um, i get shocked at the virulent anger from comment yes some people can be really terrible um, i just want to end bashing end bashing hashtag end bashing of anybody uh, Kimberly says have any easter pictures of prince george and princess charlotte been released no not yet that's quite a simple question to answer no but i wish they were nicole says megan's dad is of dutch ancestry well there we go dutch ancestry i didn't know that although i haven't really looked into it now i'm going to go to my list to see if there's um, some things that we haven't spoke about okay i think this might be a good chance to mention patreon now i'm going to post the link i've already pre-copied it um although it's probably not going to work now okay i'll try again um so patreon well i'll find it now and i'll post the link later uh, well, actually, no, I can do it now. Let me just go there. Right, so copy and paste. So no, I've lost my chat window. Where's it gone? I shouldn't have taken off the chat. Okay, I've got it. Right, I'll try and paste it again and see if that works. No. Okay, it's not letting me copy and paste. But basically, I have launched Patreon. I've been talking about it for a while and seeing as Jamie mentioned cruises and um, my favorite YouTubers sea cruisers and I'll give them another shout out they're absolutely amazing um, they set up their own patreon account um, for their channel and it's a way that their viewers if the viewers want to um, can leave a tip but um, they can leave one-off tips or they can leave monthly recurring tips um, it's kind of like, you know, if you've had, if you've enjoyed a good meal or you've had, you know, a good service or a good haircut or whatever, and you might want to tip the person that's given you that service. Um, so it gives you the opportunity to, to, to do that um, for YouTube content creators. So it's just for YouTube content creators uh, and the people that watch the videos to support them, to support the channel. So you can set goals. Um, and you can also give rewards for the support. So it's not just a one-sided thing. Um, the content creator can give special rewards to the people that are contributing and supporting the channel. So I launched it and, and I have four patrons already. I'm gonna read them out um, because I think they need good shout outs. So we've got Dana or yeah, Dana, she is a patron. Melody D is a patron. Our very own Steve Tack is a patron. And uh, Norma is a patron. And there's different tiers. So let me explain. I set up, for example, um, to be a $1 a month site supporter. Um, that's just basically like a $1 a month tip. Um, if you become an MBE uh, member, which is $5 a month, uh, you get ex ex access to the exclusive patron only posts and videos so i'm going to be making 
um, some posts that only patrons can see. Um, behind the scenes things and perhaps what's even behind my door, um, how I make my videos, um, just basically exclusive things that you don't get on the YouTube channel. Um, and if you become an OBE member, um, you get all of what I've said before, but you also get um, personalized birthday and Christmas postcards that I will send you. So when it's your birthday, I will send you happy birthday postcard. When it's Christmas, I'll send you one too. And I'm going to be working on the different different rewards. Um, so they will get better um, as time goes on. So if you would like to be um, a patron, a Royal Reviewer patron on Patreon, uh, please go to, I will post the link um, if I can type it um, in a bit. But I have started to put the links into my video descriptions. So go to the, to the um, to one of the last videos and you'll see it in there. Um, so basically it's there if you want to use it. You don't have to. I'm still going to be posting videos um, each week, but this is for people who want to support the channel. Uh, Jamie says, back to the chat, uh, that I'm drowning in compliments tonight. Well, thank you very much. Um, and Van Al says, have I researched my family tree? I haven't personally, but someone did it for my mother for her side. Um, and it was very interesting. So I have gone back on my mother's side as far as the early 1700s. Um, and it's very interesting, really, really interesting. Okay, hopefully that link will work. Um, I'm not sure if it will. If not, just type that into your own browser and you will find the link to Patreon, to my Patreon account. Um, Susan says, you made my weekend. Good night um, and greetings to your sweetheart, Harry. Uh, good night to Susan. Uh, Dana says, Elite videos are good coverage and presented well. Thank you very much. And Jamie says, you can't type links in chat. Well, I've just discovered that. But anyway, that is the link. Type it into your browser and you will find it. Uh, Midnight Hazel says, where or how do you get the content of your videos? Are you given inside access on the royals? Um, a lot of, um, if I'm making videos about things, about British history, a lot of it is things that I've acquired over a lifetime of reading and watching documentaries and uh, researching the royals. If it's a live event, um, I can get them my stories from all over the place, from all different um, people reporting. And for, uh, more often than not, I'll bring everything together and put it all together so it's very cohesive. Um, I try and cut out a lot of the waffle, as I call it, and just get down to, to the facts. So I'll sort of amalgamate a lot of coverage on an event um, and really get it down to the um, brass tacks of of why they're there, who's there, what's happening, what's happened, what's going to happen. Um, and I try and cut out all the opinion that's presented as fact. Um, so I hope that helps about where I get things from. Uh, Twitter is also a really good source for getting things that are current. Uh, Van Al says, signing up to be a Patreon after this chat. I get confused. It's The site is Patreon, but you become a patron. Um, once you get your head around that, it becomes a bit easier to say. Um, Jamie says, so are you 100% English? Um, as far as I'm aware, on my mother's side, yes. I think I am. Um, there was... There is a possible Irish link somewhere along the line, um, but I think pretty much I am English and Shropshire through and through. Uh, Steve says, if the Queen was unable to attend Trooping the Colour, maybe because of illness, what would happen? Um, 
I would imagine another royal would step in, possibly Charles, I'm imagining. Uh, Kimberly says, I don't think the royal family would allow it, but I think it would be so interesting to see the DNA results on Queen Elizabeth. Um, of course it would. It would be very interesting. Uh, Nina says, I just went to your link and it said it doesn't exist. Oh, no. Oh, Jamie's saying leave out the WWW part. There you go. Try that. Um, Annette says, Jamie, the English aren't 100% English. So many conquests. Yes. Um, just like any country, um, we've been conquered and won and lost and fought over in the past. Um, and of course, everyone knows that all humans came out of Africa. Okay, Jamie says, oh, I'm just going to, uh, Jamie says, well, she probably is about 25% English. And Annette says it would be interesting to get a DNA heritage done. Yes, it would. I would love to get my own done. Uh, Jay, um, Steve says there is a Patreon app, which is, yes, I forgot to say, there is an app. Um, if you get the app, you log in, um, and you can find me on there. Just type in Royal Reviewer in the search, and I should come up. Um, but like I say, with uh, Patreon, because it's new to me too, I will be working on the rewards. And I'm also hoping to get some Royal Reviewer merchandise as well. And I'm thinking about a 2018 calendar, um, which I think could be really fun. Um, and things like uh, Royal Reviewer branded pens and t-shirts, um, badges, keychains, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm hoping to get some merchandise. I'm hoping to really expand the rewards so that patrons um, really get something extra. So, um, so it's not just about um, supporting the site, it's about what I can do for you too. And of course, the most successful patron YouTube channels are the ones that really give back. And that's what I hope to do too. Of course, you all know that I'm all about the giving. Um, so that's what I hope to do is to reward people for watching, for watching the videos and supporting. Um, so hopefully as it goes on, um, I'll listen to the, to the su suggestions about what you'd like to receive for rewards and we can um, develop it together. Oh, and there is also a, a patron only Facebook group, a private group, which you get access to if you become a patron. Um, and Doris says, you've seen how the royals have been Germans since the 1700s. Well, they have been from Germany. George the first came over from Germany. However, his ancestry went back to England. Um, I believe it was James the first's, one of his daughters who married into a German royal house. So that's how the link goes back. It goes through James the First's daughter. I forget which one. Um, but so basically, the German link. It still goes back to England. It still goes back to, to British. So they aren't completely German. Uh, Elaine says, "I will join as soon as possible." Thank you, Elaine. Uh, Kimberly thinks it's a wonderful idea. Uh, well, the whole idea of Patreon, it kind of blew my mind to start with. When, when I saw it on Sea Cruisers, um, I thought, well, how does that work? And when, when I looked at it, and I thought, well, actually, the Sea Cruisers girls really give their supporters something back. Whenever they go on a cruise, they send them um, their patrons a postcard from the cruise. So, of course, I'm thinking that when I go to London, when I visit Kensington Palace, I could buy some postcards and I could send them to my patrons from London. Um, so when I looked into it about how it works, um, I realised that it was actually about what you can do for the people that support your site. Um, but anyway, if you're um, interested in Patreon, go and look at it because um, it might not be what you think it is. So go and have a look. 
Bruce says, if Charles divorces Camilla, then marries a Canadian woman, then becomes king, will the Canadian wife be queen? Um, yes, I believe they would, if that event happened. Uh, Jamie says, where can you get the George the Fourth State Diadem? Well, on one of my Pat Patreon goals, it is to buy a replica George the Fourth State Diadem. Now, just as I have the replica royal brooches, there is actually a very, 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 very good realistic replica state diadem. Um, it's on a, I think it's called stagejewelry.com um, or stage jewelry. In fact, if you type, <coughs> I'm coughing. Um, if you type in George the Fourth um, replica state diadem, it will probably come up. But I think it's something like stage jewelry. Um, Dot com and it's really convincing it's under the crown section they also do replica tiaras some of them are for sale some are not but they actually loaned their tiaras and crowns for the filming of the crown so claire foy wore these exact same pieces i've known about it for years and years and years and years and years before it was even used on the crown um and i've always wanted the state diadem <laughs> and this is my chance so if i can raise enough money from patreon to do it that's what i'm going to do i'm going to buy the george the fourth state diadem and make some opening and reaction videos and i will wear it for my live chat that would be amazing uh bruce says by the way you were sounding more healthy with your voice than last week i take it you took some good medicine <laughs> yes I, I took lots of pills and tried to get better um i am feeling a lot better than i was last week uh jamie says what does it mean on uh, patron weekly name check as one of my rewards um uh, for one of the higher tiers i think it was the um, if you become a knight or a dame on my patreon if you become if you subscribe to that class um what i'm what i was thinking for one of the rewards is you could actually leave in the facebook group your questions for the live chat and I will answer them first. So before I go to any of the um, commenters that I can see before me now, I will answer your questions first. Um, and of course, that will come into its own. As the live chat gets more and more and more popular, and there's more and more questions, your question will be guaranteed to be answered first. And you'll also get a name check in the description of the live chat video, which I thought would be pretty cool. Uh, Carol says, hi, I just signed on. What did I miss? Well, we've spoken about so much. Um, I really would recommend going back um, once the chat's over and, and catching up that way because we've spoken about so, so, so much. Kimberly says, yes, I do look better than last week. Um, Midnight Hazel says, how often do I do the live chat? Uh, basically, every Saturday, unless I say otherwise. Um, at 10 o'clock UK time, that's 10 o'clock GMT, um, in, the af in the evening, should I say, so that's 10 p.m. GMT, every Saturday, unless I say otherwise. Uh, and the chats usually go on for an hour, an hour and a half, that kind of time. Sometimes an hour and 40 minutes, I think has been one of the longest. <laughs> Jamie says, oh God, the cruises, here we go. I love those cruise videos. Um, and H.A. Bracken says, what's the matter, Jamie? Don't like cruises. And cruises bore Jamie. Uh, Kimberly says, Elliot, you just made my night by saying um, years and years and years. My mum says that. <laughs> well, there you go. Nina says, Jamie, I saw your book collection on Elliot's Twitter. Very nice. Yes, Jamie's um, amassing quite an impressive book collection uh, and Dana says I love the flow of your coverage thank you very much now because we spoke about so so much I'm going to check to make sure that I haven't missed anything out okay so we've spoken about the Easter Sunday we've spoken about Harry um, talking about his podcast we've done Patreon we've done Prince William FaceTiming Lady Gaga We've had my big moan and rant about Camilla bashing. 
Um, we've done, oh, we haven't spoke about the William and Catherine Radio 1 visit. So basically this was um, a complete surprise. Um, in walked William and Catherine to the BBC Radio 1 studio. The webcam was on um, and I managed to catch it live. And it was a very intriguing interview. So basically lots of questions that probably we would all like to ask were asked to William and Catherine and they revealed that they order in um, takeaways to the palace. Uh, William likes Chinese and they, Catherine likes to have curry. Um, they like to make homemade gifts for the Queen. George's getting into crafts. Um, he's, George is out of the Peppa Pig stage but Charlotte's going into it. Um, w William likes to, to relax in comfy clothes at home. Um, and on the way to work, early in the morning, he listens to Radio 1. He sends in comments and gets shout outs on Radio 1 using an assumed name. It was just a really interesting chat. So if you get a chance to watch that at any point, please do. Sophie Wessex, the Countess of Wessex, has done some really good work this week. And I think it's gone largely unnoticed. I did make a video about um, one day of her engagements. Uh, lots of amazing work with um, school children and, uh, and disabilities. I think that's um, a thread of her work. So if you get a chance, please watch the Sophie video. Uh, there was a release of the Mind Over Marathon BBC One documentary, which I still get to watch. I wasn't able to watch it, but I have it on record. Um, and I will be watching that hopefully tonight. I, I might watch it after the chat. Um, before coming on air tonight, I put up a video about the Queen's 91st birthday and how she spent it and why she has two birthdays. So if you get a chance, please um, watch that video and leave a like and a comment um, on that video. Okay, so I have actually covered my big, massive, long list uh, for tonight's chat. So over to you guys. If there's anything you'd like to talk about, please leave your comment and I will try um, and answer your question. Okay, Dana says, I wondered, Midlands close to the East Wales. Um, yes, I'm, I am in Shropshire, fairly close to the Welsh border. Um, Annette Fournier says, I have to live vicariously through cruise videos as I'm definitely afraid of large boats and ships. That would be a problem. That would definitely be a problem if you had a holiday on a ship, if you went on a cruise. Um, but I do love um, cruise vlogs and sea cruises are the best cruise vlogs that I've seen. Uh, Jamie says, what do you mean? Um, he listed, listen to the radio on the way to work. Is that walking from his bed to his office? No. I mean, on his way to work as an air ambulance pilot, which of course he still does up until he finishes in the summer. Uh, Jamie says, is the website Crown Masters? No, it's stagejewelry.com, I think. Um, I'll try and find it on my phone while I'm here. Um, Van Al says, poor Sophie and her stilettos. Yes, she had to walk through a bluebell wood. Um, in stilettos, which I can imagine is quite tough. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to find uh, this website for Jamie. Yes, it's called stagejewelry.com and it is under, if you go to jewelry and then you go to crowns. It is on there, and if I show you, if I show you that, you can just about see it's on there. Okay. Oh, the tweet! I was I was going to check Twitter. Um, I think I have some. Ah, I have Dawn's cup of tea, and she has a queen mug, and it's purple, and I love it. Uh, Royal Majesty Queen Elizabeth. It looks amazing. I love it. Wow, that is really cool. I absolutely love that cup. Um, where, did you, where did you get the cup from? I 
Okay, Steve says, um, Princess Royal is one of the busiest royals, but never seems to hear much about her. Um, yeah, she always keeps her engagements fairly low key. Um, there isn't the amount of media attention about her events, but she is one of the hardest working royals. Um, time and time again, it always comes out that she is one of the hardest working. Um, and I always try to spread uh, the royals that I cover, but there's always so much going on that's very media grabbing with the others that she does kind of get pushed a bit to the side. Um, and I do hope to deliver a lot more coverage of her in the future. If I had more time to devote to the channel, I would certainly cover a lot more royals if I didn't have to work, for example. Um, okay. And yes, he did mention um, about his dad dancing. So N. Doris is right. He definitely mentioned his dad dancing um, and made a bit of a, a joke about it. Uh, Dana says, yes, I love the calendar idea. Your editing of important royal events and birthdays. Fuzzy Puppet says, do you think Frogmore House would also be considered for Harry? No, not Frogmore, because I believe it's open to the public. Um, but the Garden Cottage at Windsor, I definitely think that could be on the cards. Uh, Bruce says, Britannia 2 for the Queen anytime soon. And no, it's not a dead issue. Our um, foreign minister would like to see the return of one. Um, I don't think it would be known necessarily as a royal yacht. I think it could be branded as a royal trade ship. And I think that's the way to go. So yes, Britannia too, but I think it would be more um, more in the line of it being a trade ship to sail us through Brexit. And I would love to go on a cruise on it. Uh, Carol says it seems as though Eugenia and Beatrice are stepping up their fashion game. They have made a bit more of an effort. They still have a way to go <laughs> in some situations. Sometimes they get it really right, and sometimes it leaves a bit to be desired. Um, Dawn says, do you ever sleep? Um, yes, you answer messages quite late at all hours. Um, when I'm on my holidays, I do tend to go to bed fairly late, um, sometimes 3 a.m. in the morning. So I do answer messages quite late. Um, on a work night, I'm normally in bed by about 12. Okay, Jason says, do you think the Duke of York's grandchildren would be styled as princes. I don't think so. I think that will probably be cut. Uh, Jamie says, stagejewelry.com. Oh my God, typo. Yes, stagejewelry.com. Dana says, I support some great Patreon creators. It allows better content, cover the costs of your technical gear to make videos. Uh, did you get your iPhone? Yes. I did get my iPhone, so um, the problems I had with uploading my video, it took me 60 attempts one time, are all sorted. And I have access to iMovie now, which is really good. Um, so that's a lot, 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 lot better. Um, but yes, Patreon does help creators because I spoke about it in the past. You really don't get a lot of money from the ad revenue. Um, a lot of these YouTubers that you know, buy houses from their YouTube channels. And um, a lot of it, they've got, you know, 7 million subscribers, 20 million subscribers. They've got millions of, sub of subscribers um, to be able to generate enough money to do that. And even then, a lot of their money they get is through sponsorship um, for things that they feature in their adverts, for books they make, for calendars they make. Um, to appear on TV, and uh, to appear in other people's videos. So just money from YouTube when you've got 7,000 subscribers, it's hardly anything. Um, just enough to probably compensate for the time. Um, and it certainly doesn't allow me to um, improve equipment or to go on to, to trips so that I can film for the channel, which I'd really love to do. So. Being um, a patron of a channel like mine really does help the creator to push the channel forwards. 
um, hopefully one day I will have those 7 million subscribers. Um, every channel started somewhere. But for now, um, every little helps. It really does. And it really means a lot to have the support of the people that watch your videos. And it allows you to give something back to. So it's not just a one-way street. You really do give back. Uh, Van Al says, what in the world is dad dancing? Um, it's when, oh, it's males who typically have very bad dancing at discos and parties. If you can imagine that, that is dad dancing. Um, it's what, it's a, a terminology we use in this country to describe dads that dance very, very bad. Uh, Jamie said, but they think they're good. That's the key. They think they're good, but they're not. Jamie says, Elliot, if you go on eBay and look at Buckingham Palace, China, there's some nice things there for cheap. Oh, I will have to have a look. Um, yes, the pill boxes are very nice. From 2001, the year you were born. I remember the year very well, uh, showing my age. Uh, Dawn says, England, from a friend who was there but don't know exactly where. And I think I've missed the first bit of your conversation. Steve says, perhaps Britannia too could be in an election manifesto. I doubt it will be included, but I really wish it would be. Jennifer says, why don't they get a stylist? Who knows, they might already have one, just not a very good one. Uh, Jamie says, I think I'll donate a ship on Patreon. I would love that. Uh, and Doris says, when a man dances in a way that makes you feel ashamed. Yes, that's basically it. Jason says, I've just noticed you changed the flowers in the vase. Weren't they orange? They were. They were my autumn flowers. These are my spring flowers. And I may even get some different summer ones. And in fact, if um, if you become a patron, I actually posted a patron only picture of my console table, but not from this angle, from this angle. So looking directly at it, you can see exactly what's on my whole console table, what's on my display um, shelves above. Um, so if you become a patron, you can see that picture. And I'm going to do an exclusive video about what's behind the door as well. Elaine says, that's very generous of you, will look nice on my shelf. I would love a ship. And you'd like to send a small replica as a joke. Jennifer thought that William's dad dancing was good. And uh, Dana would like to see uh, more coverage of Sophie. Van Al says, oh, I see, thank you. William has never been a very good dancer, poor fellow, but at least he tried and he was having fun. He was definitely having fun. Caroline says, well, he makes up for it in his good looks. Uh, Jamie says, is the chicken there to represent the top half channel? Yes, it can be. Actually, the chicken is a piece of original art. It's actually a clay uh, chicken rooster thing. Uh, Jason wants to see what's behind the door. Well, if you become a patron, um, a royal reviewer patron on Patreon, um, you will see. Um, and I already have made, but not I haven't published it yet, but there is already a video I've made um, of myself working on um, my last video. I was actually writing it and I recorded myself in my own garden doing it or um, recording my set. So I'm going to just, I'm not going to show you the video because I'm going to put it on Patreon, but I will show you the sounds of my garden. And that sounds a bit odd. But I will uh, let you listen to the sound of my garden. So I have a water feature in my garden. And if I play this, you should be able to hear it if I hold it up. So can you hear that? This is from 
today. And it's my fountain, you can hear the birds. And that's the sound that I was writing my latest video to. And you will get to see the video if you become a patron. Uh, Jamie says, do you leave your laptop and light there all week? No, I do take it all down and put it all out again each week. Um, the plant that's behind me doesn't live here. The plant actually um, lives down this way, down my hall. Um, but I think it looks quite nice in the background. So I do, I do move my plant each week. Um, the console table pretty much stays the same, but I did move the photo in this week. Um, the backdrop stays the same as well. And it's actually my kitchen. So right in front of me, is my kitchen cupboards uh, the laptop is on the counter um, i can see a toaster right in front of me um, i move in my dining chair as well each week uh, dana says is there a word list i'm not sure what you mean by a word list dawn says you asked where i got the mug england from a friend ah there you go um, I haven't seen that one before. Caroline thinks he dances fine. Uh, Jamie says, wow, he really knows how to make a sign up a marketing master. Well, the whole idea of um, Patreon, as I said before, is to give your patrons something extra. Um, so there you go. I'm thinking of things to give you that are extra that probably if I was watching my own channel that I'd want to see too. Midnight Hazel says, this has been fun. We'll check back next week. Signing off from the United States. Goodbye. Goodbye to Midnight Hazel. Thanks for watching. Vanel says, yes, the door. I'm interested too. A secret garden, perhaps. Well, you'll have to sign up for Patreon to find out. Uh, Jamie says, it sounds like someone is taking a pic. My water feature does not, my fountain, does not sound like someone taking a pic. And for those of you um, who are not British, taking a pee means having a wee. Bruce Ferguson says, other than the monarchy being a consistent force in British history and governance, what do you think in your view, and what is the value of the monarchy? Um, I think it has a lot to do with social. Um, I think it's being able to put a physical embodiment of the state into a person a physical presence um, it makes governance tangible um, it gives governance personality it gives governance a focus you're not putting your focus to an elected president you're putting it to the state the crown represents the state and if you look at it that way it can get into national psyche and it can give you a lot more, I think, than an elected president or an elected, um, an elected ruler that gets changed every so often. Um, it's the permanence of it. It's fixed. You know where it's going. And you don't just know where you are now. You know where you are in generations to come. Um, they're also non-political. So the fact that they're there for hereditary reasons, by some people it's seen as bad, but it can also be seen as good because it's the stability, it offers stability. You don't get that kind of stability with elected heads of state because they, they can change. Um, and I think that is the main difference between them. And I hope that helps. Uh, Bruce said, I do question sometimes why we need a Queen of Canada which is seen by many as a colonial leftover. Well, I was actually thinking of, of like something similar today. And it was because um, of something going on in Australia. And I was thinking about Australia and Canada and the monarchy. And I was thinking that um, nobody looks at Canada or Australia and thinks they're any less than an independent country for having the Queen as their monarch. Basically, I always think about it like the Queen is here 
and imagine there's a whole row underneath her the UK, Canada, Australia, all the other countries that she's queen of are on the same line. They're all the same. The common thread is that she is queen of all of them equally. Um, just because she lives in the UK doesn't mean she's any less the queen of Canada, Australia, all the other countries, some of the Caribbean countries. Um, and to her, she takes it so seriously. She is exactly the same queen to Canadians as she is to the British. Um, the British don't look at any other country that she's queen of as being, you know, we have anything over that country. That's not seen. You know, nobody looks at Australia and thinks that they're any less a country because they have the queen. Nobody looks at Canada and thinks that. So I don't know how it's perceived in your country as to what other people think about you for having the Queen. But I can tell you for now that being British, we don't look at um, Canada or Australia as being any less its own independent country, just because we share the same monarch. And I hope that helps um, to, to let you know how other people look at you as countries. And I really do hope that helps. Um, because I think that you actually do gain something from having a monarch. Because you also get your own system of governance, um, your own elected government, um, but you also get something extra. You get a monarch, um, which I think is nice. Van Al says, I love the fact that we have a Queen of Canada. Carol says, tell me more about James Middleton. Um, I did do a video on James Middleton and his business interests and Donna Eyre. So if you go to my playlist on YouTube, um, Supporting Cast, uh, you will see in there, if you scroll down quite a bit, you will see a video on James Middleton. Um, so please watch that video. Uh, Jamie says, uh, scripted response. Are you talking about my speech? I don't know. Uh, Bruce, uh, Dana says, Bruce Ferguson, yes, just as the president of the US is a colonial leftover too. Uh, Bruce says, very good answer, you should make a video on that point alone. It may be scripted, but a lot of us don't know the thing. No, actually, it wasn't scripted. I mean, I have literally just said that now, although I, it is true, I was thinking about it earlier on today. Um, but of course, with these live chats, I never know what question is going to come up. I'm always surprised by the questions. Um, but that was in my mind because of something that happened today that I saw in the news about Australia. Um, so no, it wasn't scripted. It's just something that I have thought about before. Um, and yeah, I, you know, every word that I've just said is true. Uh, Bruce says, in regards to Canada, I think there is also the value of the Commonwealth. Uh, with a global message. I think Commonwealth countries sharing the same queen should build better relations. Um, yes, and of course, with the Commonwealth, um, the monarch isn't necessarily always the head. Um, when the queen does eventually die, um, I know we speak a lot about the queen's death, and we probably shouldn't, but when she does eventually pass, and Charles ascends to the throne, he has no automatic right to be head of the Commonwealth. But I think it's he's well positioned that he will. And I think it will probably become um, a bit of a precedence once he is accepted. But I think every time there's a change of monarch, the Commonwealth will have to accept the new monarch as the head. I think it will go ahead. Um, and I think having that common thread um, and the shared interests and shared values does help us all in the long run. The letter says, is it true the Queen of Canada is wanted for questioning in Canada regarding, oh, I've seen that too, about some missing children. Um, again, that is another completely false video. I mean, I watched the video on it and it was hilarious because at one point it said she was wearing a white leather Stetson type boot 
the Queen would never wear that. That's just ridiculous. Um, no, she is not wanted in Canada for missing children. Um, and then when it said about an entire class of children has gone missing, how can you miss an entire class of children and it only come to media attention now? I mean, come on. That's just a no. Um, Steve says, I think Brexit will help Commonwealth relations. I think so too. Uh, Jamie says, love the lines. Um, oh Lord, our God, arise, scatter her enemies and make them fall. Even though I'm not British, it gives me goosebumps. Um, if you're into military music, uh, watch the video I posted um, about the Irish guards performing Happy Birthday outside Buckingham Palace for the changing of the guard. It was really good. Uh, Jamie says she has an arrest warrant for that, Loretta, but she can't be summoned in court. Um, I didn't think it was legal. Um, um, who issued the arrest warrant? I mean, surely that would have to be a true story first. I don't think it is true um, that an entire class of children went missing. Bruce said, and, and you'd have to have a reason to suspect that she was involved for there to be one so i'm not even sure that the rest the arrest warrant is even true um if you see what i mean bruce says i felt that your answer was from your heart and authentic i was just commenting on her majesty queen elizabeth's statements about it being scripted she was joking um and doris says as a citizen of a republic i see it like this the president represents rules and laws and the monarchy as a force to move citizen to know certain aspects of society and their rights. Um, like I said, the main difference, I think, is the length of time that they represent those values. Um, with the monarch, it's for life. They have no political ambition to fulfill. They don't have to be political. Um, they don't have to ever pander to win an election. Um, they just are the physical embodiment of the state. Bruce says, we ought to build the Commonwealth stronger. I do agree. And that should mean we need to create better opportunities to work and lean and learn in each other's country. And I would agree. And I think as soon as Brexit happens, um, we will be able, as a country, as the UK, will be able to open its doors um, to more people from around the world. Um, because the open door in the EU will be closed. Um, Aaron says, will the royal family visit Gibraltar to boost the morale of the people and encourage them to stay British after Brexit? Um, I would imagine there probably would be a visit. I don't know who by, I don't know when, um, but I'm sure there will be. Um, you can, can probably say with some degree of certainty. Um, and I think the people of Gibraltar probably will, if there was a referendum on it, choose to stay British. Well, I hope they do. Um, it would be really sad if they chose to leave. But then who would they choose to, to be with? Would they choose to go back to Spain? Would they choose to be independent themselves? Um, I'm not quite sure how that would work. So I would imagine they probably would wish to stay uh, British. I know currently they are very proud of the fact that they are British. Very much the same as the people are in the Falklands. Bruce says, I work with Aboriginal people and the kids in film were not even Aboriginal. Kevin Annette is a problem conspiracy person who is pushing the Queen, uh, the child abductor conspiracy. Um, I mean, I didn't know those precise details. Um, obviously you have an inside knowledge because you work with those people, um, but I did, think it was just conspiracy and a load of old nonsense. Uh, Angel says, love your accent. Thank you very much. Um, I don't necessarily sound like people from my area, even though I've always lived here. So I'm not really entirely sure what my accent is, really. Um, it's just me. It's just my own accent, I think. Uh, Bruce says, the fact that the Queen would get away with the theft of Aboriginal children is based on an assumption that Canada is not capable of enforcing our own laws. Well, what I want to know is what did she do with the children if she had abducted them? Um, Dana says, we know a uh, list 
has the royals approved for monies for their work? Kimberly says, Elliot, do you have a favourite tea? Um, actually, my favourite, favourite tea is one from my own supermarket. We have a supermarket chain. Um, I am not sponsored by this chain called Sainsbury's. Um, and I think they used to own Shores in America. Uh, anyway, they have their own red label brand of tea. And I quite like that. Probably my favourite, although I do... Um, have some Earl Grey too and I, I do sometimes change my tea um, but I always end up going back to Sainsbury's Red Label because I am not sponsored by Sainsbury's this is not a product placement um, but if I enjoy something I will let you know um, that I enjoy it so yeah Sainsbury's Red Label tea I do enjoy and I've just realized I've nearly been on chat for two hours so I'm going to be bringing the chat to a close very soon um, so I'll just go through some of the final questions. Jamie did watch the Irish Guards video and enjoyed it. Uh, Retta says, so do you believe Britain and the Commonwealth are one since they share a queen? Um, I think, oh, it's a tough one. Um, yes, we are united by the same thread, um, but separate, if that makes sense. It's kind of a weird concept. Um, we're all independent nations but yet we share the same queen which gives us that link um we have the same thread that goes through um so that's what i think i, mean, I hope that answers your question uh, dana says it may be an old world so eugenie and beatrice being funded oh i see what you mean about the list um they aren't on a list to be funded Basically, any funding they get is from the money that Andrew gets for his work. So they aren't personally funded by the market. Um, okay. I think I've just missed a load of comments. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, Endory says, we had in my country the same um, program that Harry was promoting but was published by the government and we have so little in respect of them and the programme failed. Well, hopefully awareness will be raised and things will get better. Okay, Dana says, I watched some videos about Queen Elizabeth considers her role as sacred. Yes, she takes her oath very seriously and her anointing process was very sacred to her. Jamie says, I'll research the arrest warrant and tell you on Twitter. I'm not entirely sure that the, that the arrest warrant is true. It would have to be based on some kind of fact for it to be issued, I would imagine. Uh, Bruce says, Elliot, you sound Canadian. Wow, I, do I really sound Canadian? Okay, what word could I say? that's typically Canadian sounding um, that I could say now that you could tell by. I'm not sure. Um, Carol says, how tall am I in feet? Um, I am five foot seven and a half ish, maybe eight in heels. I mean boot heels. Uh, Nina says, good night. Um, Lord Lauren West says, do you think Charles will view his role as king as sacred too? Yes, I do believe he will. And I think he'll take it very seriously. Jason says, I read once that Queen Elizabeth and Queen Sophia of Spain were not on good terms over Gibraltar. The Queen wouldn't ever express a personal opinion in public like that to her. So I don't imagine that to be true. Uh, Jamie's off to bed, so good night. Oh no, you're just saying good night. Um, I will be going very soon. Oh, Van Al says there's a conspiracy theory that they eat the children. Well, it's definitely a load of rubbish then because they haven't ate any children. Um, this is almost as bad as them being lizards. Kimberly says, thank you for the chat and all the other streams. Thank you for watching. Okay, I'm just going through some of 
the oh Elaine's off to make chocolate. Okay, Dana says having a basic script outline of bullet points is a necessary component for the good video. Oh, you mean this list? This is just a list of basically um, what's gone on in the week or things that I'd like to talk about, which pretty much you all kind of cover anyway. And I'm not sure if you can even see that if you can make that, but that's basically my list. Um, so it's nothing scripted. I haven't got scripted answers because I don't know what the questions are going to be. Um, but it's just a list of topics that I'd like to talk about. Okay, uh, Deborah says she's loved this and learned a lot and always watches my videos. Thank you for watching. And Bruce says, no, Loretta, the Queen has been back many times. The story was supposed to happen in the 60s. She was here in 2010. Yes, she was. Now, I'm going to have to leave the chat here now. It's almost been exactly two hours um, of chat. So this is one of my longest chats ever. And in fact, what's left of my tea is stone cold. So I'm going to have to say good night to everyone. Um, thank you for a palatial, voluptuous chat. Um, it's been an amazing week with all the royal news. It will probably carry on being a really good week. Um, so I'll carry on reporting on all the latest stories and events and everything that goes on. Thank you for watching. Please check out uh, Patreon, Royal Reviewer, um, and possibly consider being a patron. Um, there will be some exclusive content going on this week. Um, again, thank you for watching so much. Your support does mean the world to me and the fact that you keep coming back to the live chats as well. Um, I find them really, really fun and I hope you do too. So all that's left for me to say is, from me in Shropshire, have a fantastic week and goodbye. <laughs>